video <coughs> in which I'm going to talk about spot on at least a little bit because I'm currently a little bit ill I have pneumonia yeah that's how it's called in English Lungenentzündung so I should really not speak a lot but a vocal correction plugin has been released and you know I love these plugins the most so I will just make a little bit of an exception here and talk about spot on or spot on or spotter on the developer says we can call it whatever we want features of 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 spot on pretty much future up here um I keep pronouncing the plugin differently throughout this video so feel free to call the plugin whatever you want <laughs> And, and what it can do to your your vocals as well. I think spot on sounds pretty cool and spot on for what it does because it has just a few controls, really easy to use as you can see, and it has a cool style. You can actually change the style between different color schemes, which is really nice. I chose dungeon for now. Okay, so this effect chain is pretty simple. I just have this delay and this compressor. You probably already watched those while we were recording this. Let's put them aside for now, even deactivate them and also deactivate spot on because we want to find out what these vocals really sounded like that I just recorded. I, I, oh. Ay 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 oh. Yeah, it definitely sounds less impressive, but it does sound a little bit like what we were hearing. I'm actually slightly surprised. So now spot on, how much better does it make it right on the spot? Ay 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 oh. ay 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 oh. Ay, 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 oh. Yeah, nice. Some notes are a little bit off, but that's my own fault for not singing correctly. So maybe later I will go put Melodyne before spot on. Not now though. I'm pretty happy with it for now. Let's just play around with spot on. For example, uh, try different speeds. What's the lowest speed like? Ay, 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 oh. Now that's not a very slow, slowest speed. Let's quickly compare this to Kirui, because I know that Kirui has some of the craziest settings possible in pitch tuning plugins. And uh, there's also a speed parameter. Ay, ay, oh. So here we can hear that Kirui is much faster than spot on in the way it corrects pitch. So you can really hear that one note that was a little bit odd, that it's a D. While when we used spot on on the highest speed, it also sounded like a D, but it was a little bit less clear from hearing it and also from the visuals. Ay, ay, oh. Did you see that it just slid over here and was not really sure if it was E or D? So yeah, the highest speed is not as high as in Kirui and the lowest speed probably also. Ay, ay, oh. Yeah, Kirui has a really low slowest speed and that can actually be a lot of fun sometimes because it sounds so wonky and even kind of drunk and overly dreamy. So sometimes it is really nice to have this feature. Spot on seems to try a little bit harder to keep it in the sweet spot. Not the most extreme settings, but just the variants where most of the time people want to be in. I still, I think I would extend the parameter range in both directions a little bit, even though it might suffer um, the clean sound quality that is. Now, what does amount do? Ay, 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 oh. Okay, amount seems to be just how much pitch correction is applied. So you could maybe put it to something like, like what is 50% like? Ay, ay, oh. 
That's actually better than I thought. I thought it would still sound super odd, but it just sounds more natural that way. And it is not too natural. It does not expose that I'm singing not very well. Cool, I like that. That's surprising. In other plugins, I never really liked to change the amount of pitch correction. So one thing I want to talk about now is the latency. And in order to do that, I will look up the latency. We can see, wow, three milliseconds. This is officially the pitch tuning plugin with the lowest latency so far. I did that in another video of mine already, but uh, when you compare it with other plugins like here, Kirui, 16 milliseconds latency. Um, Auto pitch is one that I usually don't enjoy in terms of sound quality. And it also has a very big latency of 23.2 milliseconds. Then we have Graylon, it's, it's very popular for its clean sound. And it also has quite a terrible latency of 24.4 milliseconds. That sometimes makes it a little bit less enjoyable to be used live. The only plugin that has a comparable latency is in fact Autotune itself. Autotune has a latency of 2.5 milliseconds, which is only slightly lower than the three milliseconds in Spot On. And I think that's just incredible because when you are performing these vocal lines and you wanna use the Autotune plugin at the same time, you kind of feel the difference between just a few milliseconds and more than 20 milliseconds for sure. And that can throw you off a little bit while performing your Vocal. Sometimes it makes you sing them slightly earlier so that you can hear yourself in time. And then when the recording is done, it will be too late uh, because now you are actually hearing it with look ahead. That's a little bit confusing. That's why I appreciate when auto-tune plugins have a very low latency. Also, we should remember that there can always be even more effects in the chain. And okay, for this example now, I turned look ahead off in the compressor, but it might be that you are working with some things that use look ahead. Let's say you wanna distort your vocals a little bit to shape the character of the sound. Now you got even more latency than before. For some reason, maybe there is oversampling or whatever. And then you have multiple effects in your chain that add a little bit of latency. And at that point, it can really matter even if the latency in your autotune plugin is not super high. Even if it's just a little bit high, it can add up with the other plugins and then make the whole chain not enjoyable anymore. Now, um, that's pretty cool. I really like what I just did and found out about the plugin. However, there's one little thing that I want to talk about real quickly. These are the notes that I based my scale from. I never compose in a way that I know which scale I'm using. I always have to look at the chords to find out. And there was one little thing that was a little problematic here, which is every time here there is this um, G, sh G sharp note and Sometimes there is this A and if you see, if I added a G sharp here, then there would really be too many notes next to each other for this to make sense. Uh, it's already pretty dense there. And that's why I would like to have MIDI support for this plugin. The MIDI support would basically replace this feature. So you can at all times by your MIDI input say which notes should be in it and which ones not. And then I could make a switch that it's usually here, but sometimes like this. MIDI support can also be useful for writing custom melodies over something that already has a melody. So it can also be used very creatively. That's the only thing I would add. Even though I gotta say I, I would definitely refrain from overloading this interface too much. Like I can see that it's being kept simple on purpose to look really cool and to be not too intimidating. I appreciate that. But the MIDI feature wouldn't take a lot of space. It could just be a little button in one corner that has the MIDI symbol on it or something that wouldn't destroy the looks. Okay, I think I said everything that I wanna say about spot on and now I should keep it quiet again and just take my medicine and stuff.